good morning friends we are with a new video on editing our custom proto in the last video we used stl files from the web which were available and made by cad software and we used a bridge named urdf to convert our stl files into proto but the issue with ready made stl file will be if i start the simulation they are very unstable so you see coronavirus is moving and our f16 is not stable so if in this case we had a robot they would be in similar condition so we need to do something about it let's get rid of coronavirus and focus on f16 so now we will make our f16 stable so that it can be used for further process here f16 is just taken as an example you can take your own robot so now we will make our f16 stable so for that case we will open the robot node if you have just imported your node from here f16 you will see f16 written here if you right click on f16 and click on convert to base link you will get it in this format named robot so this has become a robot node now inside our robot node we have all properties which can be tweaked and which are more than enough for simulating our robot a main feature which we need to look in is children where in principle when you convert your stl into proto with the help of urdf you make that complete stl as a shape and that shape is the only children in your robot if this is difficult to digest it's fine and now we will add a solid so solid in solid we will add a plate so in children i go to shape and in shape we will choose appearance as standard pbr appearance and geometry will be a box so basically we want to make our robot stable so let's give dimensions of our box to be 3 3 3 by 3 box so you see we have a plate here if i lift our robot i see a plate here so now this proto is made in such a way where our f16 rests on these two plates so i will translate our plate so when i click on translate i can translate it i can even tilt it a bit so that yeah it's parallel so you see from this side is parallel let's see from the behind yeah it seems parallel so now our plate has some weight so let's increase the weight of our plate so that it dominates the center of gravity physics let's add physics and let's do mass to be 20 kg just for simplicity and if we name the shape as plate we can add a bounding box of that plate now when i click on so i need to save this proto if i don't save my plate will be gone so when i click on play you see it is trying to become stable still i think the weight is not sufficient because our f16 weighs 50 kg so let's increase the weight of 
R plate. So if we go in physics, we go in mass, let's do mass to be 100. And center of mass to be 0, 0, 0. Yeah, we are good here. We will take CG of this robot even behind. So in robot, I go in physics, I change my CG to in X direction minus around 7.5. So you see, our robot is stable and it is ready to shoot from a basic STL, we converted F16 into Proto and now we added a plate and you see it's stable and can stand on that plate. As the changes which we made were in this world on this robot node, we will not see the changes in our Proto file. So in order to make our Proto file such stable, let's go to the Proto file. So yeah, this is our WBT file of environment and you see this is updated, the mass is 50 kg and your center is changed. But if you see in proto file, it is not changed, the center is 000. So the changes which we made are not shown in proto. So now what we can do is we can copy the environment file from robot so you copy it from here okay copy and i paste this into my proto file so here yeah. yes make sure that you don't delete the last bracket because this bracket is the bracket above the robot. So now when I save this and let's add a proto in our VBOX. So this is our robot. I'll pause this, take it back and now I'll make a room for other F16, sorry. I'll move this and I will add a proto of F60. This is exactly how we did before. So you see, and when I hit on play, it is also stable. And the plate which we integrated in our robot is seen here. So all good. So this is how you make changes in your robot file and then copy the file and put it into Proto so that you get permanent changes in Proto. Many of you must be curious to know that exactly what all information is stored in Proto file. So for that, let's understand how this robot is saved. So if you see, this robot is made up of fine meshes. So if you see here, it is made up of small triangles. So these triangles coordinates are saved in a proto. So you see here. So these are the coordinates of those files. So if you see up, these are x, y, z, x, y, z coordinate of a point and there are thousands and millions of points which are connected through mesh and they are rendered so you can see F16. But the drawback of this can be, there can be cases where your model takes a lot of time to load. So if that is the case, you can do one hack where you can test your model with decreasing the complexity of the model. And then when you are done with your functionality, you can replace it with the original model and show it to friends. So for this case, 
if I delete some of these points, some I mean I can delete many. So let's do this. Let's see effect of deleting some points. So I deleted some random number of points. I save this, control S. And now when I go to my proto, delete this one and add another F60. So you see, now we have deleted many number of elements. So it loads faster, but it becomes haphazard. So in terms of functionality, if you add wheels or if you add sensors, it will act the same, but it will load faster if you reduce the number of points. So if this is fine, and if you are the only one who is working on the simulation and don't care about how your F16 looks, this is a hack which improves your speed tremendously. And also, if you have robot moving, your simulation may freeze because of very high amount of load. This is very useful if you are doing multi-agent stuff. So if there are five robots, your complexity of world multiplies by five. So if you can reduce the complexity of single robot, it tremendously improves your speed of simulation. So this is again a very good option to dumb down your model. So this was all about today's video where you learn how to edit your proto so that it becomes faster, better and smarter. So that's all for today. Thank you. Do subscribe the channel. If you like the videos, do share them. Thank you.